everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and today I'm going to be making a shirt for merch by Amazon using Adobe Illustrator. And if you guys have been watching me for any length of time or know my merch history, you know I am not a graphic designer and I have always used other programs other than Adobe Illustrator. But I took the plunge last month and paid for Adobe Suite, the Creative Cloud, and because I wanted to step up my game, my, my designs are okay, you know, they sell, I'm happy with that, but I thought, you know what, everybody keeps talking about it, okay, I'll step outside my comfort zone and start to learn Adobe Illustrator, so that's what I'm going to start on today. Um, I took Mike Peterson's Udemy class, and I'll have to link it down below after the show. I think I have a link for Adobe products too after the show I can link. I'm just, I was wanting to hurry because I don't have a whole lot of time. So this might end up being a two-parter. We'll see how far we get today. Uh, but I wanted to walk through just getting started because <laughs> I always have to look very carefully each time because, because I'm still new at this. So I'm, I'm having fun with it though. And I hate to, you know, I'm one of those, like I hate to say to the guys like, okay, you guys were right. There's a lot of, you know, Mike and them were always telling me, there's so much power, you're just going to love it, you can do so much, and I'm just, I, I was stuck, you know, and I, I was very happy with what I was doing, but needed to start learning some other things. Okay, so, hello in the chat, let me pop over so we can see, let's see what kind of mess I've got going on over here. Crafty Reseller is there, Shred Guy, hello, Smiley Woo. All right, so I have up here merch and what I'm going to do is go ahead I'm trying to figure out why it's so choppy is it going to be better if I do it like that I don't know what's going on with this thing maybe like that there we go okay um so I'm going to go get the template because like I say I want to do this like super slow so if you're new to using Adobe products you might be able to follow along and it'll be slow because I I'm slow so I don't even have to sign into merch I'm going to click on resources and I'm going to click on best practices and please use our design templates. Okay, I'm signed out of merch, okay, okay. And I'm going to download this one, Adobe Illustrator, right there, can y'all see that? So that's getting downloaded, that's the template. And I know I already have it downloaded and it's already, I already have it, but I like to start new, make sure, because I, I don't know all the settings, the words, okay, if you guys are new to Illustrator, like I am, the terminology is what's getting me. Like, you can't just, like, if you want to save it, it's save, but it's not like exported. If you want to, like, put a picture on there, you don't insert a picture, you place the picture. So I'm still learning. Oh my gosh. So I'll just kind of, yeah, I have a feeling this will be a two parter. All right, did that download? It's almost done. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is switch over to Illustrator. Let me pop this up. Oh, I popped myself right out of the picture, didn't I? So where's me? Where am I? Okay, there I am. Okay, so I put it in this mode so you can kind of see what uh, <laughs> I've been working on, but you can't really see what I've been working on. So I am going to, you know what, I'm gonna flip back over because if it starts showing you some of my saved stuff like that, like it just did, nothing, you don't see that. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> then you won't be able to see it. See, I don't even know how it works yet. <laughs> how do I hide this? I don't want I don't want everybody seeing all my stuff. There we go. Let me try popping it back over now. You can laugh. It's cool. I'm cool with that. All right, so I am going to Okay, now I'm going to go back to I'm going to open. I just want to make sure that my the things that I have Oh, is it not finished downloading? It's in a zip file. Oh, 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 I made this mistake. Okay. So, don't try to open a zip file. This template that comes from um, Merch comes like zipped up in a zip file. And I can't tell you how many times I've tried to open the zip file. I'll just go into Illustrator and say, okay, okay, I'm clicking on it. This is the template I want. Um, and it's zipped. So you have to open the zip file first. <laughs> I told you baby steps, right? Um, because I'll get that spinning ball and it'll never open because an illustrator doesn't open zipped files. <laughs> okay, little things that you guys probably already know. Okay, so I'm opening it again. Let's try this again. And, okay, I think, 
I can, no, you won't be able to see that. Okay, so I'm opening, and now I'll flip over so you can see. So here we go. Oh, look, it's ginormous. Let me zoom it out so you can really see it. Wow, everything got real weird. Um, hang on. It's giant. Let me fix this real quick. Maybe. And I have all of these other things open. Let me close these little window thingies there. Okay, technical terms. Why is it so big? <laughs> I swear I was, uh, yeah, we're going to have to have a two-parter. I know I, I did this. And, nope, wrong one. There it is. Okay, let me resize this real quick on here. I haven't done this yet with, with this on here, so we'll see how it goes. Mike Peterson, if you guys don't like follow Mike, he always does really good videos with this. Look at, this is just a mess now. Okay, let's hide that. And let's make me smaller over here so you can see better what I'm doing. There. There. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. I would like to say that this is not normal, but this is totally normal. All right. <laughs> did I have to buy Adobe Illustrator? I did. I went ahead and bit the bullet and paid for the monthly Adobe Suite. Is that what it's called? Look, I've lost it. Where did it go? <laughs> there it is. Okay, I found it. Woohoo. Okay, so quick, quick, quick notes. Quick notes. So if you're new to Illustrator, this looks like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? I'm ignoring the back part, so let's just zoom over to the front part. But there's all this stuff, right? Well, over here, <laughs> where all of these things are highlighted, these are like little like tabs, like you're in little file folders, and they jump around. <laughs> Hi, guys. So don't be afraid if what you click on moves everything else around, because this happens to me a lot and I freak out because I can't find what I was just looking for and just using. So I want to find the thing that's talking about, I see where it says layers and it looks like it's highlighted. Is it just not showing up? It's just not showing up. Okay. So I want the layers, but something else is showing up. So I'm going to click on that layers. Here we go. I want this that has the layers with the little eyeballs on the side. Can y'all see that? Let me make sure y'all can see that. Okay. So I want that because it will hide. So if I don't want to see this design, I'm going to click the little eyeball. Y'all can't see what my mouse is on there. I'm going to click that little eyeball right there. i got to ask Mike how to do that in OBS so y'all can see my eyeball or my mouse, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, Mike is in the chat. You can so laugh. You, you should get like, we should take shots for every time I say or do something weird. Okay, so click the little eyeball. Yeah, Mike the Treasure Gnome, the, go watch his Udemy course, or I'll link it later, Mike, in the, the thing. This is how I, I've been learning. So, <laughs> so yeah, that'll take away different layers. So that takes away the little picture that's on there. Okay, that's cool. And then this is this one takes away the shirt outline. Okay, but now I'm like, ah, oh, it's all brown or gray, whatever. And then this takes away the shirt colors. So I have just like a template. This is what I'm used to. Okay, cool, cool. But now I still have this dude out on the side. And so I can click that eyeball to make that go away. Okay, so now I'm like, all right, I can do this. But the problem is, look, see how it's got that pen? No, you can't see it. Mike, you'll have to show me how to see so people can see the the mouse. Because, right, y'all can't see that it's got a little pen thing and a no sign on it. Um, so you've got to make sure that over here you've got it highlighted. See how it's got that blue highlight? Well, since I'm working on the design, I need to make sure that's highlighted. Oh no, why is that little thing say no though? Why is it telling me no, I can't do that? I don't know. <gasps> oh, darn you. Hmm. Okay. If you click on the eyeball, it hides a certain layer. Yes, that's right, that's right. Oh, I have it, do I have it hidden? No. Shirt color, shirt outline, design. What have I done? <laughs> is it because I've hidden all the layers? No? Okay, shirt colors. Maybe I need to ha have a new layer. Why would I need to do that? Because I see the triangle there, or the, the, the this. All right, all right, let's just add a new layer. <laughs> there we go. And we'll call it, if we can call it, I'm trying to double click on it. Here we go. And I'm going to make it all caps. This one, all right? So that's where I know I'm doing my work. <laughs> on this one. There we go. Now we can do this. Okay. So, hello in the chat. Let's see how, how's it going over there. Um, um, 
Yep, I bought it. Let's see. This must be a sign. I was just searching on how to do any. Behold, there's a lot of. Yay! Hey, bam! It is a sign. All right. I need to create an artboard. Oh my gosh, Mike, don't. I haven't been creating artboards. Is this something I'm supposed to be doing? We'll get there. Not today. Because if I try to do that now, I haven't been creating artboards. <laughs> we'll come to that later. Okay, okay. So now I've got this ready to go. Um, this is another thing that if you're new to Adobe, um, again, I am so new. So definitely go watch Mike's thing. But one thing that throws me for a loop every time is that I have to make sure that my little arrow over here, I mean, I can't, you can't see it, but this, this arrow, I'm going to click away from it so you can, I'm clicking that. But this little arrow up in the corner is selected every time. So if you've got text selected and you're like, okay, I'm done typing, and then you go to click somewhere else, no, you're still on text. You've got to go back up there and click that little arrow. Okay. Okay, that's giant tiny so let's get rid of that oh I'm on text I'm trying to I'm trying to grab it to get rid of it but it kept clicking back to text boom okay so now let's go over to the where is it uh, I'm, I use graphic stock I think they're called story blocks now and <laughs> thanks to the mic's like you're doing great <laughs> it's a blank screen <laughs> we haven't screwed up yet right um Okay, so now, where is that other... I'm still new to OBS, too, so we all get to have fun together, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. So, there. I'm going to come over here, and I've been looking at story blocks. So sometimes I'll get in here and just try to come up with... Like, I'll look for a, a graphic that I like and make a shirt based on that um, if I'm in a hurry. So that's what I'll do. So I'll come in, am I signed in over here? Let's see. Um, images, let's say I want to search all images. No, I want vectors. I want, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Hang on, it's got to load for a second. I just want vectors because now I get what to do with vectors now that I'm learning Illustrator. Let's search all vectors. And um, so sometimes I'll just scroll through and I'll see something I like and then I'll grab I'll just grab it and go with it because now that I can play with vectors, it's kind of fun. Shh, don't tell them I said that. <laughs> you were right, guys. Um, let me see. If you see something that looks fun, let me know. Uh, these are kind of fun. Um, the owls are kind of cute. Oh, goodness. Treasure Gnome the Encourager. Thank you. Yes, that's right. He's He's been very encouraging to me. Okay, so, gosh, I didn't come in here with any ideas either. <laughs> Thanks. I know, it's so hard to move outside your comfort zone, right? But I'm doing it. And again, this may be a two-parter. Okay, here's some Christmassy stuff, even though Christmas is probably already super saturated. So I'm going to download. This is what I've been doing, and I'm downloading EPS, which stands for, I have no idea. So I'm going to download that. And there it goes. It's going down. Now, Jeff said I could drag and drop it, but I have not been doing that. So let me come back. I'm not going to try it here either. Should I try it here? Should I not? Maybe Jeff is trying to... <laughs> You've never been on that site. Learn something new. Yeah, it's a paid site, Graphic Stock. I think I have a coup... Is it a coupon code down below? I know. I think there's a seven-day seven free trial. Is there a llama? I missed the llama. Hang on. Llamas are hot right now, right? Was there a llama with my Christmassy stuff? Because that would be cool. I missed it. Where's the llama? Oh, see, now that I... Because before I would see this stuff. Look, look. This, like, seashore stuff, like octopus. I'm like, oh, that's really cool. But how am I going to use that? Like, it would take me so much time to, like, isolate that octopus or isolate that sailboat. Um... But now that I'm playing with Illustrator, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can just like grab that little octopus right off that cool wallpaper, or whatever you call this, wrapping paper stuff. Um, okay, Mike, I didn't see the llama. There's some shirts. Look, we can make a shirt about a shirt. Okay, let me go back. I have too many windows open. Okay, here I am here. And EPS 
Oh, I clicked the wrong button. EPS encapsulated postscript vector. <laughs> Techie mumbo jumbo. We'll make up something fun. We'll make it stand for something better than that. All right, here we go again. I've got a lot. I'm trying to bring it up. Why isn't it coming up? Nope, that's the wrong one too. AI. Oh, look, there it is. Okay, here we go. So now Jeff said I could drag and drop it. I'm not sure how that was going to work. Type llama in the search. I could. I've already committed though. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it the way I've been doing it. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been coming to file like at the top of my computer. Oh, I keep fiddling with everything, y'all. You love me anyway, right? <laughs> so I'm coming up on Illustrator at the top where you can't see it, clicking File and then Open. And then I'm going to my Downloads, and I'm going to click on the Christmas one that I just had. And it, yes, that's what I want to do. Well, what it's doing now is it opened it up in another tab. Let me see if I can close this for you for a second. So, uh, <laughs> you guys that are good at Illustrator are probably like, oh my gosh. Okay, so see up here, there's this. It opened it in a new tab up here. So here's my blank template, and then here's my Christmassy thingy that I'm using. Okay, so let's see. I want to pick Santa, maybe, but... Some some of them, when I click on it, it lets me just grab what I want. This one is not. Um, you open those files. Of, okay, okay. I'm like, I don't know. Did I do it right? Somebody else? Everybody has a different way, apparently. Okay, so sometimes you can just, like, grab on it, and it'll let you. What did I do? I don't even know. Do I need that? Look, okay. That's putting the white background behind it, I suppose. So I'm going to come in here, and I just want Santa. Is it going to let me grab him? Now, if I click on, let me scoot it so you can see. Over here, you can't see what I'm pointing at, this other arrow, then I can start grabbing specific things. I don't know what this other arrow is called. It probably has a name. Direct selection, rather than select, direct selection. So I'm going to see if I can do this. Why don't I pick a hard one? I just want Santa and his sleigh. So I'm clicking on all the bits of them. I have a feeling. Nope, I just messed that up. <laughs> Click on all and go to object and ungroup. What? Okay, let's try this again. I'm clicking command Z to go back. Go back to the beginning. Okay. Click on them all and then go to object and ungroup. All right, so I'm going back over to this one, and I'm going to select them all. And then I'm coming up to Object, and I'm selecting Ungroup. Is this magic? Is this going to be like super magic? Am I going to love you forever? <laughs> we'll see. No? What is, well, now what? Did it do something? Oh, it took apart the pieces. Right-click, Ungroup. Right-click. Okay, let me select this again. <laughs> Uh, this is, okay, so I must have it already ungrouped, because then now it's saying group. Okay, so now, now I can not grab it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to come back. This is what I've been doing, though. So, okay, so now I'm clicking the direct selection tool again. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah, this is good. Okay, but I just want this guy. I just want, nope, nope, did it wrong should ungroup into layers. Oh, I forgot to check that. Okay, okay, let me check that. So over here, I've got layer one and layer two. Layer two is that white one, I guess, that I was playing with. Layer one is that one. So it's supposed to, okay, hold the shift and select the pieces you want. <laughs> I, was, I was supposed to be teaching you. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, so go, I'm going in again. Here we go. Select the shift and the pieces I want. Okay, so, ah, uh, why is it doing that? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no. Okay, maybe we need to uh, change our, our plan. Maybe not Santa. You have to move the top away from the background. Okay, okay. Oh gosh. See? <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I hope you're laughing. I really, 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 really hope you're laughing. Okay, there. 
Is that the background? Nope. I'm going to turn that off. How about that? Why don't we just turn it off? I just took something else away. Um, <laughs> please tell me you're laughing and not like, oh my gosh, this is painful. Can it be both? There, I grabbed one. Okay, so now let's try Santa again. I think I chose wrong with Santa because he's, he's really in there. It's like trying to cut somebody's spleen out without grabbing the other stuff. I'm sure it's a lot harder to cut somebody's spleen out, though. <laughs> Are you good? Good. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm doing surgery, like playing operation or something. Okay, did I get it? <laughs> okay, I think maybe let's try dragging him over here. Nope, I only got part of him. <laughs> okay, I promise it's worth it once you figure it out. Um. <laughs> okay, we're going to try again. I'm going to try this again. I'm selecting him, but look, now I've selected up there. Let's go after something easier for now, <laughs> or we're never going to get this shirt done. Lots of me. Just click on them. Don't move them around. Okay, hold, shift, and click on objects. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'm holding the shift, and I'm clicking on Santa, but look, it's only grabbing his, like, lap. Okay, and just click on all the stuff, and then what? And then do I just copy and paste? I need your legs too. Do I have to keep clicking on all the stuff? Or am I in selecting? Now what? Just move away the stuff around him. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would make sense. Am, am I? All right. That's a good idea. Let's try that. <laughs> You're so smart. Um, okay, go over there. Part of that tree. I know, I know, I know. Let's just delete it all. We can always come back and bring it back, right? You get out of here too. You no, I need your legs. You get out of here. <laughs> then you won't feel so bad, right? <laughs> okay, these things can go away. These things can go away. And these these things. Oh, not your face though. Now object group. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, as long as you guys are having a laugh at me, that's cool. Because I'm having a laugh at me too. Um, use the lasso tool. Oh, don't even. Shush. shush. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it sounds like something I would like though. The lasso tool? Like Wonder Woman, right? Wonder Woman. Just delete it all fast. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. I'm glad. I thought maybe there was something I was... No, no. It's floating away. I thought maybe there was something I was doing. There was an easier way. But maybe not. Just delete it. Just get it out of here. There probably is another way. That's fine. Whatever works. There we go. Off you go. And that little blue star. I guess you can stay for now. I kind of like you. Now I can select it. Look how good I did. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have Santa, hopefully, I've just I've, I've selected him and I hit Command C to copy him. Now I want to go back over to my blank screen. So I'm clicking these little arrows. I wish I've got to figure out how you can see my mouse. And then I'm going to click these little arrows and go back to T-shirt T-shirt template. It's not popping up for you. Okay, so I'm coming back over here. Lasso tool is the second on the upright, just the search. I see it. I've never used it, but I'll try it. I'll try it for next time, okay? There's only so much humiliation a girl can put herself through. <laughs> okay, so now I'm, I'm going to do Command V to drop Santa and his sleigh, and then I'm zooming. I'm going to zoom in on him, and then I'm going to grab the little corner, but I have to hold the shift down to make him bigger. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna make him bigger, bigger, -er, like so. We did it! <laughs> I got a gold star for Mike, woohoo! <laughs> All right, so, and I'm gonna make him bigger again, and then move him over here. Here we go. I don't have any cool music, sorry y'all. Should we want, do we want him going up or down? Woo, nope, that's not right. 
I'm curving him. Can you guys see that? It's showing up. I'm going to have to figure something out. Lasso tool is cool and easy. Okay, I'll have to find figure it out, Belle. Okay, so go back a little bit. Okay, there. Okay, so I like this little star. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this star, maybe. No, I just messed it up. Go back. So, yeah, just undo if you mess up. So I'm going to select. I have this select arrow, and I'm going to make a little box around this star. Not the antler. Okay, go back. Try again. Just the star. And then I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste it. So now I've got another star. Ta-da! So if I want, I can get crazy and just, like, make all these stars everywhere and drop them around. Ba-doom, ba-doom. Oh, no, I just took part of it. No. Okay, this is the problem I keep having, though. Uh oh, Arno gave a good suggestion. I missed it. I'm guessing it was the lasso tool. Could drag up to tab you want and switch over. Oh, okay. That's a, okay. I'll try that next time, Jeff. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Oh no, it's trying to make me grab the. Okay, there. Ugh. What have I done? I need everybody. Okay, forget it. You, star, you're out of here. You don't get to play anymore. Get, get, look, look. It's, it's not letting me delete it. Delete. There. Okay. Only everybody should hit the like button now. Thanks. <laughs> we'll have to come back and add some more stars in a minute. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put some words. And so what you'll do is you'll click on the text box. And then you, you can't see it. Ah, oh, okay, I've got to figure out how to make that happen. So I've clicked there, and then I'm going to scoot you in, and I'm going to select this and say, um, what time is it? Okay. I don't know if I could really put this on a shirt or not, but we're going to try it. This is the best. We'll just say dang instead of damn. How about that? Best dang. We can always change it. What do you think? Do you think Amazon's cool with... I don't think I'm going to put damn because you never know, right? You want to treat it like it's your grandma. Okay, so here's my problem. Again, I, I want to grab something and I forget that I'm still on the text, the little text doodad over here instead of the arrow. So I have to click the arrow before I start moving stuff. Best dang. And then I'm going to say Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. And I'm making different um, text. <gasps> I didn't want to do that. Never mind. I want to copy that. <laughs> no. Okay, click the arrow. No, 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 no. Cancel. <laughs> there. Uh, Christmas shirt. And then copying again and pasting. This is a mess, y'all. But it'll get there. Best dang Christmas shirt ever. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and we're done. Best seller. <laughs> okay. Now I want to change my font. I want to make this bigger. And I want to make this bigger. I'll move those stars later. Use shortcuts on the keyboard for text as well. I don't know those yet. We'll have to learn. We'll have to learn them. Okay, here we go. And then Christmas comes over here. And then shirt comes over here. Oh dear. Uh oh. Okay. And then ever. We're doing fine. Oh, thanks. I will dominate. No. <laughs> there. Best thing Christmas shirt ever. Meh. Nah. I don't know that I have very many Christmas shirts up. So now what I want to do is find some fonts. And I just bought, I just, I just started paying for fonts and stuff. Not that I was stealing fonts, but I was using fonts that were already included in like PicMonkey and stuff. So I just bought some Christmassy fonts. So I'll have to save this and come back when I have them um, uploaded on here. Okay, now, where are my fonts? 
This is character. Is that what I want? That's what I want. So character is the fonts, if you're looking for it. Then, hello, kitty! <laughs> and then you can select here, and it'll... Is it showing that for you? Are you seeing my fonts? Or are you not seeing my fonts? I don't think you're seeing that. Okay. Um, i got to see how Mike does this with his all on the side. I think he set it up. This one looks kind of Christmassy, kind of. We'll go with that for now. So, best dang Christmas shirt ever. Now, Chris, I don't like to use too many fonts. Maybe like two, right? Not a whole lot. But, what was this one again? Ah, uh, I'm going to scoochie it out. Thank you, Crafty Reseller. That's Rita, right? Let me scoot this. Oops, okay. Um, so this font, and I know there's a way to do this. This is Montage Regular. But what I'm having to do is come up here and remember that. And then go, if you go to the very top of the selection of all of the fonts, it'll have the latest ones that you've used. And I know there's another way to do that, but I don't know what it is. So there's best. And then I guess we could have this curved a bit like so. Maybe, maybe not. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to have to get my kids in a minute. So we'll have to make it a part, a two-parter. And maybe by then I'll have my uh, Christmas fonts unloaded on my computer. That's one thing I haven't figured out yet, because I've been downloading fonts and some graphics from these sites. But how do I organize them? You can't even see me. How do I organize them so that I'm, like, not opening all these files? I get the fonts. The fonts will be in there. But, like, I have all these graphics that I've been getting. And so it's a pain in the neck when I'm like, I just need, like, an arrow with the heart on the end of it. And I have to go through all these files. So I figure out there, there's got to be a better way. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Okay, now we need a shirt. Nope, that doesn't, nope. Maybe. We'll go with this one for now. Maybe not. That looks kind of crappy, but maybe it's okay. Nope, nope, it's not. <laughs> yeah, but can't you guys can't really, oh, you can see when it's changing. How about cake? Why don't we just make it cake? Um, so, best day Christmas shirt ever. Nope, can't see that. But it's been kind of fun. Now I get, like, how it takes so long to go through the fonts. Because on PicMonkey, I only have so many to choose from. So I'm like, why would it take so long? It's, oh, I like this font. Um, <laughs> right font. Okay, what right font? What are you talking about? Is there, no, I'm looking for something called right font. <laughs> um... So, trend something, yeah. Uh, let's do this one for now. You can make your own EPS with all your favorite vectors on it. Oh my gosh, Mike. We gotta, we gotta make that happen. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I don't even know what EPS is. <laughs> look, look how brave, though. I'm out here just doing it, right? Okay, so I'm going to use this font that I've forgotten already what it's called. Oh, it's a program that organizes your fonts. Will that not just, will do my fonts, will it do my graphics too? Because that's what I need. Trend HM Sans. So I want this one and I want this one to be that. So I'm going to click them both. Trend, where did it go? There. Did it change them both? It did, yay. Okay. So, and I was just figuring out kerning, because what happened? That looks really weird. So, like, dang is, like, really spread far apart. Oh, gosh, am I going to be able to remember how to do this? What Mike said, put them all in a sheet grouped. Oh, Mike, you need to make a video on how to do that. Do you have a video on that? So then I'm clicking character, and I want my letters to be closer together. Let me see if I remember which one is which. Is it this one? Is that gonna, nope, that's pushing them apart. I want them closer. Are they getting closer? Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. This is frustrating. There's like a little drop down where I'm trying to make my letters get closer together. There. 
for this word. That's too big. Now it's too curvy. Um, why do I feel like I have to get in there like that and squint at the computer to, to make it like to work? Okay, that doesn't look very good. I think I I think I kerned it too much. Is that the right word? Is it kerning? That's right, right? Uh oh, I'm hitting the wrong way. Back to the other way. There we go. Oh, what Mike said. Okay, okay. Maybe that's not what he meant. Nexus font is a font manager. Maybe an external hard drive with folders. See, that's my thing. I was like going through all these folders, looking for what I wanted, and oh, it was. It would be easier just to take them all out of the folders and just have them loose in one big folder or something. I think I just messed that up. What did I do? <laughs> okay, I'm getting. I'm not. I'm not crazy about this font now because it doesn't really go well with this other font. But it's good for now. For our shirt. For now, because this is part one. We'll have to do a part two soon. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow because I have to go get my kids from school. But we're getting there. Look, I did stuff. So what I'm going to do is I want to save this, not export it because I'm not ready for that yet. So I'm going to click File and Save As. Is it popping up? Can you see that? No. Oh, am I going to have to pre-record it for you all to see that? That's no fun. I guess I could do it on... No, there has to be a way. Okay, I'm going to save this as best dang for smalls. And I'm going to save it to... Why isn't it letting me... I'm looking for... I'm looking for my creative cloud, but I'm not seeing that on here. Okay, I'll just save it to the desktop for now. That's weird. Why wouldn't it show that? Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. Maybe. Did I? Maybe not. Mm -mm. No, what's going on? I'm just talking to myself like a crazy person. I can't find it, so we'll just save it to the desktop. Okay, and I'm saving it. Oh, I forgot to mention something to you guys. And now I'm not sure it's going to show up. But I, you have to have your shirts in CYMK, right? That's what it says on Merch's thing, on the best practices. And I was going to show you on here if it would... I don't think y'all are seeing the drop downs. I may have to do a pre recorded one. But I, I figured out how to make it. If you go to File and Document Color Mode, look, it's automatically in RGB. So I need to go and put it in CMYK. Is that right? That's right, right? Okay, let me save that again. Save. So it's in the right color scheme. But I'm going to pull up the where it says that. Because I think we were talking about this at the Merch Minds meetup. I keep grabbing the wrong thing to show you. Um, and somebody was saying their, their shirts came out kind of like not right. Like you could see the shirt through, through the colors. And so they were talking about that that may be the problem. That you need to... Where did they go? The specs... No, look, here it says RGB. No, I saw somewhere else that it was CYMK. RGB, less than that. Okay. Oh, no, I did. So, where was it? Because I just saw that. Okay. RGB? Do I have to use RGB? By default, we assume your design is RGB. So, if you want to use... Hmm, I, I swear I just saw where it said UCYMK not long ago. Artwork questions. I'm going to find it and then I'll show you guys later because I really did. I saw that. Okay, anyway, we'll figure it out. Make sure we're on the right color scheme. They wouldn't keep changing it around just to mess with us, would they? How did I get signed in? Okay, let's look at this again on resources. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to look again. I know, I just saw myself out. Content policy. Is that where I saw it? No. C, Y, M, nope. C, M, nope. 
best practices. Let's look there. Look. How to ensure your shirt t-shirt design will look great. CYMK. While you may design your shirt using RGB, your t-shirt will be printed in CYMK. Didn't we just read like two seconds ago that it said RGB? And now this one is saying CYMK? Am I going nuts? All right. You guys let me know what you think. You saw that, right? Here it says CYMK. Okay. Okay. That's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go back. Look, CYMK. And CYMK is not as wide. Your shirt will be printed using CYMK. But over here, when we clicked on the template, yeah, I keep signing out. That's what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to think I'm nuts if I can't see it again. Use our design template. Look, here's on the design template. RGB. Create your design RGB right here. No, this is still merged by Amazon. In one spot it's saying RGB on the download t-shirt templates. And then over on the resources, this is all still, yes, I know, I know. On best practices, it's saying CYMK. Doesn't matter. PNG does not support CMYK. Okay. All right. Fine. Doesn't matter. That's what he says. So it's all Jeff's fault if this is not right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me flip back. Thanks, guys. I, I, I'm going to put a, this is part number one, and we'll come back and figure out the rest of it for part two on the making the shirt, right? So I'm getting there. It will get better. Um, if you watch... Mike, he does a lot of like let's make a shirt together videos using Illustrator which go a lot smoother than this one so definitely check that out. Also Jeff puts out really good videos, I know he's in the chat there too, about Illustrator but it will print like CYMK. Okay, I'll, I'll just, why does it have two different things though? Come on yo, come on merch. Like we need more confusing information. Okay, I hope you guys are having a really good day and I will come back and work on this one probably some more tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, and I have a giveaway going on if you're here. Go over, and it's like, it's got a mystery box or a shirt, so I'm going to be drawing tomorrow, so I'll be drawing for one mystery box and one shirt design to give away. It won't be this one. It'll be better than that, maybe. We'll see. All right, I'll see you guys later. Um, leave a comment if you've got any tips or want to, you know, heckle me, whatever. It's cool. Uh, so I will see you guys later, and I can't find the right tab again. So yeah, <laughs> every time. All right, you're going to have to just watch me for a second while I find the right tab. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Did I close out of that window? Nope, that's not it either. This is fun, right? This is always fun. Mm -mm. There it is. Found it. <laughs> okay, bye, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>